okay so uh, uh, since we have uh, added our topic in the uh, rover acronym uh, we need to actually run this uh, particular model in our gazebo simulation so let's go to the uh, our building px4 gazebo simulation topics here okay let's go here and see for acrimen what command need to be run here it is so we need to run this command let's copy it okay and inside px4 autopilot let's run this okay now it will spawn the uh, Ackerman rover here okay now it should be publishing uh, data on the QGC so let's run our custom QGC ones on the flight mode okay it's connected now let's go to analysis sorry analyze tools inspector and we need to check whether we are receiving our custom message data or not so currently I am not seeing that here okay the reason behind that is we have not included the you know custom message dot xml or the compiled files of the custom message on the qgc side right so we are not seeing it here but if you'll go inside the console and you'll check your status and look for our topic custom underscore message it should be available here oops let me just go back to that mm, here it is the custom message okay so our topic is being published okay but it is not being streamed uh, sorry streamed right now so let's uh, do the necessary changes on the QGC side so we can uh, see that you know topic streamed here okay so first thing that we have to do is let's just close this QGC and the first thing that we have to do is uh, let's create a folder let's go to home and from the terminal we can create actually CD here so let's uh, create a folder mkdir uh, let's name it mavlink underscore gen because we are generating the mavlink libraries inside that okay let me go inside our newly created mavlink fol gen folder and here what we need to do is uh, let me just close this gazebo simulation also because we don't need right now we'll run it again okay so uh, first we need to download the uh, mavlink uh, library so let's go to the mavlink github page here the mavlink uh, you know repository is there let's clone this okay uh, inside the newly created folder mavlink underscore gen let me copy paste this command and let it download all the you know mavlink modules and sub modules okay let's wait for it
okay so finally the mavlink library has been downloaded now let's go inside the mavlink folder and run this command to install the required packages from the python uh, uh, installation uh, libraries and once that is done we have this command here which has been mentioned let's copy this okay but before that what we have to do is go inside the same folder okay uh, we downloaded yeah mavlink chen mavlink and this entire folder we have downloaded we have to go inside the mavlink definition and again we are seeing lot of xml files okay so what we need to do is we need to go on the you know px4 side uh, go to src modules mavlink and inside mavlink we had added our custom message right so let's copy all these messages and replace these files okay now we have our custom messages custom message.xml file which has already been linked inside our uh, common.xml okay and this is inside our mavlink gen okay now let's just copy this command and paste it here and we have to generate common.xml this is done the command executed successfully now you will see the generated folder inside that include mavlink version 2 and you have the common.xml files but once you'll go on the qgc folder let me open that qgc folder as well where we had kept all of other files to compile let's go to home custom qgc q ground control and when you synced uh, all the libraries here before compiling if you go inside build and check for you know cpm modules mavlink inside this folder you are seeing all uh, you know mavlink generated files so here also we'll do the same thing instead of generating only this common.xml we'll select the all.xml okay let's select all.xml and generate all the libraries so now we have all the libraries libraries including our custom message library okay now what we have to do is inside this you know mavgen folder whatever libraries we have generated let's just copy it and replace these files where uh, inside the custom QGC mavlink folder okay so let's go there select all and okay sorry we don't have permission here so what we can do is we can allot the permission let's go super user to okay and I'll just allot the permission I'll go outside of this folder and give permission to our custom QGC folder okay all the subfolders also will include and we gave the permission now you can replace all the files okay. so finally the replacement is done okay now let's go out and just check if this mavlink is available somewhere else okay it's not there mavlink is here but the libraries are not there all the libraries were there inside that only the generated libraries okay so we can check the libs folder also inside we have the mavlink include mavlink version 2 and 
also the files are available here okay but these files are not being used when we are compiling it at the location we replaced it those files are being used but for the safety you can replace these files also let me replace all these files as well so we can include the custom message here so we should not face any error if it asks for this folder okay so we have the custom message here also now let me go outside this is our custom QGC folder inside QGround control we have build folder and here inside that CPM modules Mavlink this folder and our uh, all the uh, Mavlink uh, libraries which we generated including the custom message okay so all done now let's go back to this part and rebuild it okay so for rebuilding we had the command uh, let me just check if I used it earlier uh, let's go to the custom QGC page here this is the command don't run this configuration file otherwise it will remove your custom message and it will I mean uh, freshly download all the uh, Mavlink generated libraries okay and you may face some kind of errors so don't do that just click on this and run it to recompile it with the available QGC libraries okay now let's just wait let it compile once the compilation is done we will be able to see our custom message being streamed in QGC okay so let's just wait for that I hope everything is correct whatever we did and we will not face any error here taking too long let's wait okay finally it started okay let's wait for the compilation to finish successfully
Oh, so finally the compilation has been uh, uh, I think completed it's just linking the executables and we haven't faced uh, any errors so uh, I think we are good to go now let's run this custom compiled QGC here it is on the flight mode okay. it is already connected because I think our sim simulation was not terminated properly. Let me terminate it, the gazebo simulation, and the location it disconnect. Lost. Okay. Now let's again. Uh, I mean, we're already inside the PX4 autopilot folder, so let's start the gazebo simulation for Rover Ackerman. Okay. Let the model spawn here. Okay, let's minimize Almost this. We don't moment. need that. Okay, it's connected. Okay, now uh, what we have to check is the message that we created the custom underscore message, right? That should be visible. So let's go inside the console and check whether it is available here or not. Sorry, UOB, uh, we need to just type UOB status. And let's check here if it is coming or not okay so we have the custom message here okay now let's check the inspector and here it is the custom message and our values are 42 for the value parameter and for the custom value it is 12.5 the same we had given in our module right let's let's check that whether the same values are coming or not so for that uh, let's go to the px4 folder okay inside that src modules uh, acrimen and here is the cpp file and the constant values are here right so that's what we had given now those values are visible in your QGC so you have successfully added a custom message in your PX4 and you have streamed that on Mavlink that's what we wanted right okay that's all in this video we will uh, discuss some more new topics uh, regarding PX4 and 